I'm about to show you how to administer this Flowflex COVID-19 antigen test. Open the box carefully because in a moment you're going to use this perforated hole to hold the testing tube. It's best to open it by peeling up this tape that goes around the corner of the box and then carefully pull the lid up. A butter knife can help out with that. Empty the contents, then close the box, then perforate the hole on top of it with a pencil or something. You'll see two pouches that have these little slits on them that you can use to tear them open. Go ahead and open both of those. Then pick up the tube and peel the tape off of it. and insert the tube into the hole that you made on top of the box. Next, open up the swab without touching the cotton on the end of it. You're going to swab both of your nostrils with it by doing a circular motion as seen here. Note it does not say to spin it. You're going to go around five times inside each nostril and it says to take 15 seconds to do each one. So these are going to be very slow. It also says to go in one half to three fourths of an inch into your nose if you're an adult. Three fourths is about the size of a penny, so do not go further than the size of a penny into your nose. For children, it says to go less than three fourths of an inch. Once you have done the swabbing, dunk it into the tube and swirl it around in the liquid for about 30 seconds. Then take the tube out and with the swab still in the liquid, squeeze the part of the tube that has the liquid and spin the swab within that squeezed area five times. Then raise the swab a little bit higher in the tube so that it's out of the liquid and squeeze the tube around the swab to wring out any moisture that's left in it. Then go ahead and throw away the swab, place the cap onto the tube and swirl the liquid like this. Then position this test cassette in front of you and turn the tube upside down and squeeze four drops out of it into this little area marked S. Then let it sit for 15 minutes don't lose track of time because the test is invalid after 30 minutes, according to the instructions. There are two possible lines that will appear in this area, one beside the C and one beside the T. If you only get the one that's beside the C, then the test did not detect COVID in your sample. The instructions recommend that you test again within 48 hours if this occurs. If two lines appear, then the test did detect COVID in your sample and it says you do not need to test again to confirm. Note that the second line can be very faint but it still counts as COVID if it's there at all. If you only get the second line beside T or you get no lines at all then the test is invalid and you need to do a test again with a new kit. If you found this video useful please leave a like. Thank you for watching.